John chapter 20. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came early to the tomb while it was still dark and saw the stone already taken away from the tomb. So she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and said to them, they have taken away the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter and the other disciple went forth and they were going to the tomb. The two were running together and the other disciple ran ahead faster than Peter and came to the tomb first. And stooping and looking in, he saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. And so Simon Peter also came following him and entered the tomb and he saw the linen wrappings lying there and the face cloth, which had been on his head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. So the other disciple who had first come to the tomb, then also entered and he saw and believed. For as yet, they did not understand the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. So the disciples went away again to their own homes, but Mary was standing outside the tomb weeping. And so as she wept, she stooped and looked into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been lying. And they said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, because they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you would have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, stop clinging to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to the brethren and say to them, I ascend to my Father and your Father and my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came, announcing to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and that he had said, these things to her. So when it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and when the doors were shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, peace be with you. And when he said this, he showed them both his hands and his side. The disciples then rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, peace be with you and the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, their sins have been forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they have been retained. But Thomas, one of the 12 called Didymus was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples were saying to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see his hands, the imprint of the nails and put my finger into that place of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came. The doors had been shut and stood in their midst and said, peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, reach here with your finger and see my hands and reach here your hand and put it into my side and do not be unbelieving but believing. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, because you have seen, you have believed. Blessed are those who do not see and yet believe. Verse 30, therefore many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in these, in this book. But these have been written so that you may believe that the Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. 